Hey guys, today we're going to focus on uh, some quick settings that we use on keyboard and mouse. Most of you play on controllers, uh, even for the PC version, but uh, some people do play on keyboard and mouse and I want to show just a quick few guides, a quick recap of some of the buttons we kind of forget. So here we go. First of all, uh, people ask me, where is my honor? How can I see my honor? Okay, so you press escape. Go to player. Press general. And you can see your honor here. We're on the complete good, good side. This is the evil side. This is the good side. So wherever the picture shows, the middle is neutral. So this is where the honor is. A uh, good thing is it shows you a lot of different details also about your weight, uh, how you're faring with the temperature, if you need a coat or whatever. Hostility, not that violent, not that violent of a person so far, so far. All right, other people uh, had problems with the treasure map. How can they get to their treasure map? Well, you press B on the keyboard, keep it down. and go to this icon right here and there are your treasure maps right here click on one and you could start doing that event when you do get to the treasure map when you do get to the location remember to press the middle mouse button <clears throat> middle mouse button will focus and it'll show the uh, treasure the chest or whatever it may be it'll show it with ink, uh, orange sparkles like orange smoke coming out of it so always focus and uh, roam around that yellow marked area and good luck with that okay next one we have a posse how do you start a posse and how do you know what players are online so you press just fine out here. L on the how keyboard you, keep it pressed me. down and there you go these are all the players that are online right now, now if you want a posse go down to posse you could start your own posse. I'm in a posse already, uh, Trouble Shuffle. We did a live stream recently. But I could have my own posse as well. Form a posse, you press space. <clears throat> you could have a temporary posse where you don't get charged anything through invites only. Uh, you could have friendly fire turned on or off. Camp, you could assign which camp and where it's gonna be located, anywhere in the region of the map. Or you could have a permanent camp, a permanent posse, which will cost you $200 in administration fees. Okay. So good luck with your posse, guys. Hope it all works out. Another cool little feature is uh, the J button on the keyboard. The J button will actually give you a catalog where you can do shopping. Just keep J pressed. And here you go. You can shop. You don't have to be at a general store. You can do it anywhere on the map while you're on your horse. Um, if you're in single player, though, it brings up your journal instead of the catalog. So just remember that. You can't do that in single player. All right. One more cool feature. Let's get out of this. Is the ability to fast travel all over the map. When you see these cartwheels... Just go up to the cartwheel, press E. Let's fast travel to St. Denis. Because we're going to look for a fence. Now, what is a fence, you might say? If you don't know what a fence is by now, well, you haven't, ground, you haven't grinded enough. Fence is uh, someone where you can sell your jewelry, watches, any trinkets you might have found. Any little treasures you might have found along the way. So the fence here is located right here. As you see this icon. He's the fence. It's like a black market shop. Everything illegal can be sold there. Otherwise, uh, you could also sell stuff at the butcher. 
if you have meat, skins, uh, hides. It's still rolling from the road. Horns from animals. Horns. All those things. Uh, even even fat, even blubber, animal fat. You can also uh, you can sell all that to the butcher. But the fence will take everything else. Well, not everything. Okay, here we are. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go around back. Doesn't like having a storefront right on the main road, so he's more uh, more tucked away than everybody else. Well, look at this. A cadeau from my past. What fell off? His hat? Please look around. Oh my Most god, a hat seat. fell off the rack once I opened the door. That's crazy. Okay, so uh yeah, let's talk to the fence. You can either buy or sell here. Let's see what he has to offer. Let's go buy first. See what nice things he has. So dynamite, that's very mm. important. It's always good to have dy dynamite, guys. Let's buy a couple of those. Done and done. The throwing knives you don't need. We have. What else? Again, what you can find at the at the general store. Different kinds of documents. Herbivore bait, uh, predator bait, gun oil, snake oil, potent snake oil. This is good to get your dead eye up. So always good to have snake oil. By one. All right, that's it for the uh, s the buying part. Let's go uh, sell some stuff now. Hopefully, we have something to sell. Hmm, there sure. we go. We have uh, gold tooth, which we can sell for a dollar twenty-five. I'll take it. Sure. What else do we have? We have any pocket watches? Oh, we have a silver clamp buckle. Valuable silver clamp buckle can be sold. Yep, we'll sell that as well. I won't ask where I came from. <laughs> no, don't ask. There you go. Trade reward, yeah, okay. Get back to our horse. And as you can see, I'm out of uh, dead eye, so I'm gonna have that snake oil now. Snake oil. So we'll take that. So we have a full circle of snake oil now. And if we want to bring up our uh, our uh, dead eye core, we'd have to eat something as well. Something that that'll bring up our dead eye. Uh, maybe a uh, cheese wedge or maybe some coffee might do the work. Open gin, guarma rum, Kentucky bourbon. Oh, that brings it up, a b uh, but I lose a, l a little bit of health. Cigarettes, a cigar. There we go. We're going to have a nice cigar. Bring that up as well. Looks like we're pretty maxed out. Might as well have a little snack. There we go. We maxed out. The only thing we're missing is a bit of energy. So where we would get some energy? Let's have a few canned peaches. There we go. I'm just littering the place. <laughs> Someone's gonna ca have to come pick up those cans. So we're maxed out. Let's see if we Get can off. max out our horse as well. Senor our horse is maxed out. So we're all ready to go. So, uh, yeah. Next up we have the horse. How do we feed the horse while we're mounted? So we press tab. <laughs> press R on the keyboard twice. And you could select either carrots I'm pressing E and Q now to select corn creeping thyme parasol mushroom and each one shows you uh, what 
what it what e what kind of energy it gives. So this is stamina. This would give you stamina. This one would give you a lot of stamina and heart uh, life. Uh, yeah, the carrots are the best, guys. This is what I use most. So I just let go of Tab. <clears throat> and there he goes. He feeds him. Now I can pat him by pressing G. If I'm trotting. Or if I'm standing still. like If I'm on a slow pace, I could still pat him. But once I get moving, I don't think I can pat him anymore. Yeah, I'm pressing G, I can't pat him when I press shift. But when I slow down to a trot, I can start patting him and bonding with my horse. So we learned how to feed him, we learned how to trot him, <coughs> how to pat him. Uh, let's brush him. So we press tab, go to horse, pressing R, and we get the brush. Let go of tab. And he'll start brushing him. You could find the brush in the uh, in the journal. You could buy a brush from there, or you could buy a brush from the stables. So horse and trap, horse and pack. Here we go. Horse care. And there's our brush. Three dollars and fifty cents. Don't forget to get uh, revives. Revives are good for the horse as well. That way, if you uh, lose your horse some kind of uh, train accident let's say the uh, train ran him over or uh, somebody shot your horse you could always revive him on the spot it'll get you out of a whole big mess if you have a couple of revives on you so uh, yeah that's good too now, if you guys are really tired and don't feel like you're in the mood of actually controlling your horse you just press V that'll take you into cinematic mode and you can actually follow the red line. Another cool trick is pressing M, so you can actually view where you're going. You can zoom in and out. As you can see here, there's your character riding your horse all the way to the waypoint. And this will work for uh, gold, gold lines as well. So when you're on a mission, it's usually a gold line or yellow line. You can do the same thing. You press V on the keyboard until it goes into uh, cinematic mode. And press, you can control your speed as well. Let me show you. Right now he stopped, I press shift. Control my speed, I can go as fast as possible. And what I've noticed is that when we use this full speed, it takes up less energy for the horse. It uses up a lot less energy from the horse than if you were actually to manually control it with uh, full speed. You'd waste a lot more energy through manually controlling than uh, when you're in cinematic, cinematic mode. That's just my thing. I noticed that. So when the horse stops, starts grunting, really, really grunting, that means he's losing a lot of energy and he's going to get mad when he starts whining and crying out. So you press control to slow down a bit. We can actually stop. We can actually br brush the horse at the same time. If we go to horse in cinematic mode, you can switch with C. Now let's feed the horse. Give him a carrot. Again, this is all happening in real time, in cinematic mode. So he's fed. Now we can actually pet him at the same time. We don't have to get out of cinematic. Now, uh, little tricks as you bond with your horse and you uh, rise in levels. You can do little tricks like space bar and right or uh, D. It'll make the horse go sideways. Or spacebar and A. It'll make the horse go sideways. Look at that. Again, spacebar and D. Spacebar and A. Spacebar alone. And spacebar and control. I think it's shift and control at the same time 
There we go. Shift and control at the same time will cause the horse to skid again. Yeah, A and control will make him veer left as he's skidding. And now B and control will make him skid right. There we go. One more thing, one quick thing as well. You can stow your rifle in your saddle. So once you get off your horse, you have nothing on you. Everything's on your horse, as you can see. You can see the uh, the bow is on, on the horse, and so is my rifle. So uh, if I want to get to my rifle, I press tab, change this. And this and now I have everything on my back that's a quick way of uh, keeping your weapons on and off your horse okay to uh, check the bullets if you want to switch the bullets from regular to express all you do is press X while you're pressing tab okay so it's Tab for the wheel and then press X and that'll switch from all the uh, assorted bullets you have. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed my quick little uh, summary, quick recap of how to use your keyboard. Uh, a lot of people, use, like I said, a lot of people use controllers but I decided to uh, do a quick little rundown video of how to... Uh, just a reminder more than anything else how to use your keyboard. Uh, settings and your keyboard options so i hope you enjoyed it share like favorite subscribe to all those good things and i'll see you in the next one bye bye